Playboy is one of the most iconic publications in American history. They're making a huge change by getting rid of the very thing that made them legendary. From Marilyn Monroe more than 60 years ago to Pamela Anderson, the cover of the final nude issue. Playboy now swapping nudity for negligee. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Playboy is the most famous nudie mag on our planet, hidden in Grandpa's closet, in Cousin Billy's high school locker, on newsstands around our globe. The rabbit head logo is among the three most recognized logos in the world. Along with Nike's swoosh and Apple's Apple. But Playboy is, with this weekend's revolutionary relaunch, it's a nudie mag. The buck stops in my office if it fails. No more. How can that work? What will that look like? Well. Here's the cover girl. Uh, have your parents seen this? Uh, no, but my dad was actually the first one to be like, you better f do Playboy, because he really wanted me to be in it. What? So, yeah. Why? Because <laughs> he, it's historical. More from her in just a minute, but first. Hef's on board with this. Oh yeah. Okay. This 62-year-old magazine is still owned by the now 89-year-old man. What's with the gang? Why the gang? He, uh, he is a, uh, a man at, at his leisure. These the men and women who make his vision reality. Chances are that we'll just use the photos we've got. They're really good. Except they don't call it a conference room around here. We're behind the scenes for the metamorphosis. Are you guys sleeping at night? No. From time to time. A little bit. So, why go non-nude? We relaunched our website in August of 2014 as a safe for work, entirely non-nude experience, and it exploded. Traffic right. skyrocketed. And bigger than business, there's philosophy. Being a brand that challenges the norms has always been a part of Playboy, and being that nudity doesn't really challenge the norms anymore, it doesn't really make much sense to stick with that. It's like Nike stopping making sneakers. <laughs> I mean, you could look at it that way, but now you're gonna read the articles, and now your imagination's gonna work a lot harder, is it not? <laughs> Danny Mathers was the last ever nude Playboy Playmate of the year. That's gonna be a Jeopardy <laughs> question someday. You better remember that. <laughs> This is the photo archive. This is everything that's ever appeared in the magazine. Everything. These are the original Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe nude oh my from, uh, from the first issue of Playboy. And the last ever naked cover girl. You were the last one. Pamela. Who would have thought? A lot of people. <laughs> you are, in a sense, the perfect playmate. Half used to say, I made this magazine for a girl like you. This her 15th and probably last cover. Would you do it with your clothes on? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> These days, she's making vegan footwear and her own cooking show. Meanwhile, in the world of magazines and the internet. And not only can you see nudity, you can see every sex act imaginable. So Playboy's just getting out of the nudie game. Here's how the new clean magazine is shaping up. There are still going to be photo spreads, correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just that they're not nude. The girls are going to actually be nude shooting. It's just going to be implied. So you won't actually okay. see nipples or anything down yeah. below. We think that we'll get even more interesting and more beautiful women as we're not nude. A cover girl more interesting than Naomi Campbell or Madonna? But who? That's white up there, too. That's going to have the most eyes. What is a, what is a modern, non-nude playmate shoot look like after 62 years? I think the girl next door doesn't exist anymore. She's doing selfies and taking pictures down her shirt. Pamela nailed it. This is what a non-nude Playboy shoot looks like in 2016. Sarah McDaniel, Instagram star, famous for flawed beauty, those different colored eyes. And this is her cover. The first person to even be on Playboy was Marilyn Monroe, so I, it, to me it's a huge honor. So what does Playboy mean to you? Playboy to me means freedom for women, like feminism and kind of really? just expressing yourself and you no know, holding back. It doesn't That's mean I feel. nudie ladies in the magazine. <laughs> I guess it did, but now the revamp and everything now, I feel like it's a completely different thing and it's more about the women rather than just like, you know, bearing it all. The philosophy we took towards the photography really resonates with the younger, the, so the Instagram crowd. And note those three words, entertainment for men, gone. How was the home stretch? Okay. We were just trying to make the greatest magazine we could and we pushed every envelope we could. All those great articles, still there. James Franco still handing his columns in on time. 
He is. He's three ahead. The idea is you can now read Playboy on a train. Leave it on your coffee table without blushing. I think it's kind of sexier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you know, there's a risk that you, you, if we didn't go sexy enough, you know, we still, it's still Playboy. We still have to be the sexiest magazine on the block. <clears throat> I would argue the same thing. I think that it's, it's sexier than it's, it's possibly ever been. Can I be reading this? next to great Auntie Bertha on an airplane. You'd be surprised so. what Auntie Bertha's into. Yeah. <laughs> also in the first non-nude issue, Myla, who takes selfies on a film camera, hipster retro. I mean, it's really easy to take a beautiful photo with like a crotch and boobs in it, you know? But when you can't do just that, like what are you gonna do? I think it's more of like maybe a boyfriend experience. Someone you'd wanna hang out with, someone that you wanna be around, someone that you wanna wake up to, you know? Like it's just more personal in that way. It's not mm -hmm. just like, oh, the girl's hot. I would say that was probably one of the hardest parts of the whole process. It's finding out where the line was and then walking up to it. Because we need yeah. to be, we still have to be who we are. We have to be Playboy. We have to have that edge. We have to have that sexiness. Yeah. And how sexy can we get? Which is a question we ask each other every day. <laughs> 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 I can't wait for people to see this. It was probably smart of them to do. I don't see how they could have continued it yeah. this way. Yeah. It was either done or it's got to change. The full nudity was really getting in the way. It had to go. I mean, I can't even imagine. It's still kind of shocking to me. Moi aussi, Pamela. What OC? I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Beverly Hills, California.